Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Creature Cradle to create any of the 3D animals, the 3D monster, even 3D birds, 3D fish, and import into Blender 4.1 and all of the 3D models that you imported will already have fully rigged and ready for 3D animations. And it is game ready as well. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. What is the Creature Cradle? So I already purchased a game on Steam. Now this is my Steam. Right. In my library, I already purchased a game that's called Spore. I, I click play. Then it is going to enter the Spore game. Just wait for a while. Now the Spore game is loading. Right now it is still loading, and then once it already lo it it already loaded, just turn this off. Then click create. Then after that, choose this creature cradle. Click creature cradle. Then click here. It is going to load into an, a GUI, and this is the default. If you click here, you can reset everything like this. To choose a shape that you want so once you feel satisfied with this then you can click at any any bones here scroll and you can just increase the size of any joint and here if you pull you can have a tail for this you can make it as a head and this one make it as body and of course you can just leave it up like this All right next you can just choose a mouth from here just for example I want to have this mouth I just put it here I scroll to make it small or big then so let me just choose an eyes here for example I choose this and I may just choose some hands so how beautiful the monster you have to put your effort to design it. This is just a demo, so I just simply create a very ugly monster. I want it to have two hands here. I can, I can just change the position. Right, then two legs, four legs, doesn't matter. <coughs> Trial legs. Alright, if you really feel satisfied, you need to just paint it. There are many options here. You can choose whatever you want. Then you have to name it. Name your creature. For example, I put this as monster zero one. Then, then now you can export this 3D model. I have to add some more, some other features like the horns, etc. Add this. Right, so if you want to export the 3D model, you have to press Control shift c then you have to type the code at here to export it as a 3d model the, the code is coleda coleda export so just type coleda export then press enter 
switch to pen mode before running this cheat. You have to switch to the pen mode. Oh. Then again, you type Coleda Exports. Then press Enter. Now you can see it already exported to your computer. Under this location, under Document My Sport Creation Creatures Monster 01.ea. This is the location. Then you just tick here. That's it. Now you can quit the game, quit everything, quit the spore back to your Microsoft window. Now I can close the Steam. So everything is here, we are going to open. To open it, you can just move your mouse cursor to here, right click, go to the documents, it is at my spore creations, it is under the creatures folder. So your 3D model is at here. So next, in this tutorial, we are, we are going to learn how to import the Creature Creator 3D models into Blender 4.1. So now I'm going to open the Blender 4.1. The Blender 4.1 is at here. Then I press A and press Delete to delete everything to clear the scene. Then I click File, Import, DAE. The DAE file is under the documents, my sport creations, creatures. The DAE is at here. Before you click import, just make sure you you take five bone chains and auto connect. These two you have to take it, then click import Coleda. You can see your monster is already here. Click to turn on the texture. At the beginning, you can see the texture is not yet there. Then you click here to delete the original the original material. Just click minus to delete everything first. And then click plus new. Base color, you take the yellow dot to change it to become the image texture. Then click open. Open from the same locations under the documents, my sport creations. Creatures. Then choose the diffuse. You can see your monster zero one. This is the name. Then choose the diffuse. Double click to open. The next, go to this shading. Then you should be able to see the diffuse. There is an alpha setting at here. The straight. You change it to none. Then back to the layouts. You can see your monster is ready ready for animations and I'm going to show you the rest of the details. You have to go to the texture, the, the material, scroll down, the roughness, just make it maximum, the IOR, just make it minimum. Now you can see the contrast is really better. Then click the armature, press F2 to rename it as your monster's name or animal's name, monster 01. Enter. Then Make sure you click the armature, go to the go to the data, viewport display to show it in front so that you can have a further manipulations of of the ribs. So you can just show the name as well and go to the post mode. We are going to test it. This should be the head. Alright, click and try to rotate the head to see right the head is okay to rotate it doesn't have much problem right the tail you can shade the tails left or right it is up to you and just look at the legs the legs should be okay and the hand the fingers you can just test it one by one this is the finger, all right, normal. And then the mouth, you can see some of the rigs here. This is the mouth. If you turn on the names, you can see some of the really small rigs. You can try to rotate it when you are creating your 3D animations. Everything is just easy. Use the sports game and just activate the creature creator 
you can make any of the 3D animals, the 3D birds, 3D monster, even dinosaur, and finally import into Blender 4.1, then you can create the 3D animations in Blender. Everything is game ready because it is just one single mesh with one single material texture. It is game ready. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on the creature creator to Blender 4.1 to create any of the 3D animals and monsters, the birds, fishes, etc. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!